Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. And today's topic is ventricular septal defects. <coughs> uh, but before starting this, I would like to request you to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Now, and if you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website as www.diseasesandtreatment.com, and uh, you can click the link in the description area uh, to visit this website. Thank you. Now, the ventricular septal defects uh, simply means that a hole between the uh, heart's lower chambers or the ventricles. You know, uh, as you can see in this picture, you know this is the uh, these are the two lower parts, the ventricles, you know, uh, right and left, and this is a hole between here. So these are mostly these are the uh, congenital defects, you know. Now, <coughs> excuse me, a ventricle uh, septal defect, more commonly known as ventricular septal defect, uh, VSTs, is a hole between the ventricles, you know, which are the lower chambers of the heart. And the defect can occur anywhere in the muscle that uh, divides the two sides of the heart, known as the septum. You know, you know uh, there are uh, varying types of uh, uh, ventricular septal defects. And, uh, smaller defects may close without any treatment and will not cause any long-term effects. You know, and the defects and the defects uh, uh, that uh, don't close on their own. Uh, can uh, usually be repaired by the surgery. Uh, the next thing is what are the symptoms, you know. You know, in some children, uh, the ventricular septal defects don't cause any symptoms. And uh, if the hole is uh, in their heart is small, you know, uh, there may be no signs of the problem. And uh, if the symptoms present, uh, that typically include like difficulty in breathing, uh, rapid breathing, uh, pale skin coloration, frequently respiratory infections, and bluish skin color, especially around the lips and the fingernails. And the reason for this bluish uh, uh, color is uh, because uh, in the uh, lower parts of the heart, the oxygenated and the deoxygenated blood mixes, you know, and as a result, uh, the uh, blood that uh, is pumped uh, from the ventricles uh, to the other parts of the body is not, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, is not rich in the oxygen, you know. And it's often uh, difficult for the babies with the uh, ventricular septal defects to gain weight. And uh, they may experience uh, like a profuse sweating during feeding, you know. And all of these symptoms can be uh, very dangerous and uh, uh, if your baby or child develops any of these uh, you should contact your doctor straight away and the next thing is what are the causes of the uh, ventricular septal defects you know the most common cause of the ventricular septal defect is uh, uh, congenital you know and the, some people are born with the holes already present in their heart, you know, and they may cause no symptoms and uh, take years to diagnose, you know. And uh, a rare cause of the uh, ventricular septal uh, defect is uh, severe blunt trauma to the chest. And uh, for example, a serious car accident with uh, a direct forceful impact or repeated trauma to the chest may cause the uh, ventricular septal defect, you know. And uh, the risk factors, uh, uh, you know, they are uh, most of the time they are the same uh, as uh, the other birth defects, you know. And uh, uh, many of the same defects uh, factors that increase the risk for uh, other birth defects also increase the risk of uh, uh, the ventricular septal defects, you know. And uh, the specific risk factors for the ventricular septal defects include like uh, uh, Asian ancestry, you know, uh, having a family history of uh, congenital heart disease and having other genetic disorders such as Down syndrome, you know. Uh, the next question is uh, the symptoms I already explained and the 
how your doctor will diagnose uh, the doctor will listen to your heart your baby's heart you know through a stethoscope and take a complete medical history and will perform the several types of the tests which may include like transesophageal echocardiogram you know uh, which is a picture taken by a numbing the throat and then sliding a thin tube containing an ultrasound device down to the throat and into the esophagus close to the heart you know and take the images from there and uh, uh, the echocardiogram within uh, uh, like uh, agitated saline bubble a test is an ultrasound taken of the heart while saline bubble bubbles are injected into the bloodstream you know uh, and uh, so it gives the uh, or, I mean uh, uh, the better kind of uh, 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 cardiac uh, kind of images you know to diagnose the problem and MRI is another test and which is used to take the images of the heart you know so this way your doctor will after all these tests he will diagnose the and uh, locate the uh, site of the defect you know and now once diagnosed then what are the treatment options in other question you know uh, if uh, the in case of the ventricle a septal defect is diagnosed uh, there are few ways to treat it one is just wait and watch you know and if the symptoms are not severe you don't need to uh, do anything just wait and see uh, small holes sometimes uh, uh, close on its own you know so you don't need any kind of uh, 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 treatment you know and uh, if uh, it doesn't work then uh, the surgery is another option you know and in most severe cases surgery is uh, required to repair the damage and most surgeries uh, to correct the uh, ventricular septal uh, defects uh, are open heart surgeries and uh, you will be uh, anesthetized you know and put on a, a like a heart lung machine so your surgeon will make an incision in your chest and close the uh, that defect you know that hole you know with the, either the stitches or a patch you know and a catheter procedure involves uh, inserting a, a which this is an other surgical procedure you know uh, it involves uh, inserting a thin tube or the catheter into the blood vessels from the groin and then uh, guiding it all the way to the heart for the closure of the that uh, ventricular septal defect and other surgeries involve the combination of these two procedures you know and uh, if uh, uh, this defect is large or a hole is very large you know uh, then uh, you or your child may need medication to control the symptoms before the surgery you know and the medications may include like uh, digoxin you know uh, a drug made from the uh, foxglove plant you know and uh, uh, possibly uh, diuretics as well uh, the outlook in the baby is uh, like uh, with the small defects and uh, no symptoms your doctor will monitor your child to see if uh, uh, this hole closes you know on its own you know and uh, they will also make sure the symptoms don't develop and the surgery has a high success rate and excellent long-term outcomes you know thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease and medical condition you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day thank you goodbye